Okay. Was was this car for sale at Morgantown? Yes, Classic? it was. And you bought it from yep. them? Because I saw it there and I admired it there. Yeah, this well, is it nice. Made some work, actually. Yeah. Oh, it did, but it looked like a wonderful original Survivor. Yeah, uh, the seats were all messed up. This is B44. Yeah. yeah. I had to replace them. Yeah. Because they had the original mohair. Oh, yeah. There's a slight pattern to it. And if you don't have uh, mothballs or cedar chips or something, maybe. That's what happened. So well, I had to do that. You also, the headliner was all messed up. So I had to change. Well, I'm, I'm glad, glad you did the headliner. I'm glad you got it, and I'm glad you're preserving it. Nice little nice six. Car and I admire it. Well. it was 42, very it, actually, unusual. Uh, very maybe. unusual. This is Pam from Northeast Wheels well, you know, this, com at the Delaware Valley Oldsmobile Club, 20th annual. Fall show, looking over this dynamic 76, 1942 Oldsmobile. This is beautiful, it's nicely preserved, and very unusual to get a 42 because of course the abbreviated year. This is cool. Good morning, good morning. I like your little SUV, by the way. Thank you. That is nice. What year is she? It's a 1958 reproduction of the 1901 Curb Dash Who built it? The Merry Olds Corporation. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And what year is it? 58. Okay, yeah, I remember them. Uh, Briggs and Stratton? Uh, Clinton. Clinton, okay. Yeah. And you remember when Popular Science came out with the plans to build one? Yep. Another one of my round to it. <laughs> that is great. Wow. How did you find it? When did you find it? What's the story? Uh, the story was that uh, in one of those Auto Trader magazines, yes. the owner of the car was on his back porch down in Haverford, or Havertown. Uh huh. We bought it in 1986. We've had it ever since. That's great. That is wonderful. And tell me, you came home in a hospital in this? <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah, sounds good. Sure. Let's stick with the. It was in the back. Yeah. yeah. Hey, just be thankful your name didn't turn out to be Mary. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is great. I like the way you have the mirror. That's perfect to see the operating system. That is cool. Now you have electric start on this, I presume. It's got an electric, it has a starter generator, everything's under the seat. Yeah. The gas tank, the engine, the starter, the transmission are all underneath the seat. That's a centrifugal transmission. Centrifugal, you got yeah. it. Got a centrifugal clutch. Very you good. The drive shaft of the engine, which runs mm -hmm. a two speed transmission. Right. Which powers, it's just chain drive to the back axle. Right over there, just as the original. Yes. That is wonderful. One cylinder, four horsepower Clinton engine from 1958. Wow. I like the mechanical brakes too. Although those are external expanding rather than the internal, uh, I'm sorry, internal expanding rather than the external contracting. Hey, a little bit of safety, come on. Well, yeah, it doesn't like, it doesn't like hills and it doesn't like to stop. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a lot of fun. Oh, it's, it's a blast. This is brilliant. Thanks for coming out. That sure. is really cool. That's what I'm shooting for, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now that is a nice way to be greeted to an Oldsmobile show. What a wonderful turnout here. We came a bit late. Uh, Richard is uh, really uh, has passion for Oldsmobile, Cadillac, and Buick. Extremely knowledgeable, so it was a real treat driving in with him. So we got to talk car. Love the tornadoes. I appreciate the original front better than the later one, but personal taste, little 442 drop top. How nice. As Steve Rossi was announcing uh, yesterday at um, uh, 
Hershey as the cars are coming in. It was saying 442. See, I gotta remember it. 44, four barrel, four speed, dual exhaust. Man, yeah, this one's an automatic. We'll let you get away with it. A little bit of a rod over here. I like the street rod. Super 88, of course, 58, yep. Look at those trips. That is so cool. We did the seats. You're giving away the secrets over here. Well, I'm, I'm looking for donation, gas donation. Yeah, right? There you go. Now, that's a good idea. I like that. Yeah, I still remember when we were kids. We passed the ashtray, get a buck, and go cruising for the night. Yeah, there you it go. was great. Yeah. Oh well, what can one do? Yeah. Yeah, back in '58, gas was only 25 cents a gallon. When I um, I started pumping gas, late '60s, and it was 26 on Long Island, and uh, but you know minimum wage just went up to a dollar sixty. Yeah. So, mm, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, car. This car oh, cost thirty six hundred dollars oh, back in fifty eight. Mm hmm. The Which average, was serious coin. The average yeah, income was forty six hundred dollars. Yeah. The average income was forty six hundred. Yeah. Yeah. It's all weird. That's what I'm shooting for, by the way. I'll pass them out. I got plenty of them. Oh, come on, girl, you've got it. How long have you owned her? It's been in the family since 1968. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I got to wash and wax it for the first time my cousin brought it home. Uh-huh. And, uh, and then we got into all the other work and pulled the air cleaner off. And uh, here it has three carburetors he didn't know about. Oh, geez. He didn't know when he bought it? No. Oh my gosh. Well, it was in 68, he bought it, you know, he was only 18, I was 14. Yeah. So we, you know, as a kid, I was just getting into the cars, you know. He goes, oh my, this is gonna be cheap. <laughs> <laughs> he passed good. away in 76, and the car set from then till he, I guess, last year I finished it. Nice tribute, I'm glad you did. Yeah. I started doing it out of, you know, being my cousin and yeah. to honor him. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then I, I told him, he need, I want to see it done before I die. Good. So I told her, I said, take two things. Take money and ambition. She looked me square in the eye. I said, we got the money. I said, I just got ambition. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And well, we already had all this money in this room already yeah and she tells me green's the color of money yeah, <laughs> yeah there you go there perfect you go. perfect what are your names terry and wanda albright pleasure to meet you and thanks for coming out you appreciate this this is gorgeous i love the dark green beautiful the stories behind the cars are always so much better Interesting. Dealers for the state of Pennsylvania only disconnect the wiring for the inboard lamps at the feed junction wire. Remove the bulbs. Yep, until they became legal. That's why. Wow. Little 98 over here. Hello. Maybe I have some R12 left. And that's what I have in here. Yeah. And it works great. Yes, you know? yes. It's a really good. It's got the old refrigerant. A5. Yeah. Yes. yes. R12 is very stable refrigerant. It yes. mixes well with the oil. It's got what they call good oil visibility. It's minimal oil compressor. Unlike the stuff there, it's all synthetic oils. Yeah, I know the, the R34 and all yes. the oil. Starfire. No, they had it. Yeah, I like this. I like that detail there. It's really kind of cool. Forget the uh, aerodynamics. We don't need no stinking aerodynamics. Just add another a couple cubes. Super 88. 
I want to pick up some of the more unusual, so I'm going to walk over there. The older stuff is fun. 442. This one looks like it is an official 442, meaning business, because of uh, being a poster and dog dish or poverty caps. I love that one. Poverty. Yep, there you go. Four speed. All right. Versus the F-85. Yeah. Perfect. Dual exhaust. And there's the Cutlass in the background. I like that year Cutlass. I mean, F-85 Cutlass. It all evolved. It's fascinating. The evolution when cars are allowed to evolve. Revolutions generally don't sell that well. Here we go, the last of the breed. We've got the Aurora and the, oh my gosh, my mind just went blank. I cannot believe it. Yeah, the Aurora Final 500. I'm thinking of the Intrigue, that's it. Gosh, I drove in in Richard's Intrigue too. Figured we're going to an Oldsmobile show, we're taking the Olds. Yeah, the final 500. What a shame. Just before their 100th anniversary too. Little Cutlass, they got so big very popular. They never gained the popularity back of the um, uh, 70s, which was intriguing. I'm going to over there. 442. Now these are not, these are a name only, unfortunately so. I like the tilt, it is manual, so we're going to give it to you there. Good morning, good morning. How you doing? Good to see you again. Yes. Thanks for coming by. Uh, it, it was perfect. Let Even my laundry. <laughs> yeah, right? As, as long as it's not the body, that's okay. There you go. You know, we are talking about the Phillies, so you know. Oh, no, no, we don't want it. What's this? Next week. Hang on.